Title, Blood Moon Hollow. The moon hung low in the inky sky, casting its eerie glow over the desolate town of Blackbrook. Fog slithered through the streets like tendrils of ghostly fingers, obscuring the once familiar paths and giving the town an otherworldly aura. In the heart of Blackbrook stood the dilapidated mansion known as Blood Moon Hollow, a place of legend and dread. For generations, the townsfolk had whispered stories of the cursed mansion, recounting tales of unexplainable deaths, vanishing children, and the unnerving feeling that malevolent eyes were always watching. Wes Bannister, a weary journalist with a penchant for unraveling dark mysteries, had come to Blackbrook seeking the truth behind the haunted mansion. Armed with a notebook and a camera, he stepped through the creaking front door and into a world of nightmares. The air was thick with a sickening scent, a combination of mildew and decay that clawed at Wes's throat. The mansion's walls seemed to pulse with a grotesque energy, as if the very fabric of reality was warped within its confines. Dust-covered portraits of past inhabitants leered from the walls, their eyes following Wes's every move. He pressed on, the floorboards groaning beneath his weight as he ventured deeper into the mansion's abyssal heart. In a dimly lit study, Wes uncovered a journal that spoke of a cursed artifact buried within the mansion's grounds, a relic rumored to grant unimaginable power in exchange for unspeakable sacrifices. The pages were stained with ink and blood, the words scratched onto the parchment with an almost desperate urgency. As Wes read on, a shadowy figure materialized before him, its form shifting and contorting like a nightmare made flesh. Curiosity has led you to my domain, outsider, the figure hissed, its voice a discordant blend of whispers and screams. You seek the power of the blood moon, but at what cost? Wes's heart raced as he realized he was not alone. His camera trembled in his hands as he attempted to capture the entity before him, but the photographs revealed only blurred distortions, as if the very essence of the being defied the laws of reality. Show yourself. Wes shouted, his voice quivering with a mixture of fear and determination. The figure's laughter echoed through the room, a haunting cacophony that reverberated within Wes's mind. You wish to know the truth? To bear witness to the horror that has festered within these walls for centuries? Without warning, the mansion's walls began to bleed, viscous streams of crimson pouring forth and pooling at Wes's feet. The air grew cold, and a sensation of dread washed over him like a tidal wave. You shall know the price of your curiosity, the figure sneered, its form elongating into a nightmarish monstrosity. Witness the fate of those who dare to seek the power of the blood moon. As if pulled by an unseen force, Wes was thrust into a series of gruesome visions. He saw the townspeople of Blackbrook performing dark rituals, their eyes vacant and souls consumed by the malevolent force that emanated from the cursed artifact. Children vanished, their voices replaced by agonized cries that echoed through the hollow halls. The mansion itself seemed to feed on the suffering, growing stronger with each life it claimed. Wes's mind reeled as he was thrust back into the present, his body trembling with a newfound understanding of the horrors that had played Blood Moon Hollow. With a surge of determination, he reached into his bag and retrieved a vial of holy water, its radiant glow banishing the shadows that clung to the mansion's walls. I will not let your darkness consume this town any longer, Wes declared, his voice unwavering. The figure held in fury, its form writhing and contorting as if in agony. The ground beneath Wes shook, and the mansion itself seemed to rebel against the presence of the holy water. With a final, bone-chilling scream, the figure dissipated into nothingness, leaving behind only an echoing silence, as the first rays of dawn broke through the fog, Blood Moon Hollow began to crumble, its cursed foundations finally giving way to the forces of light and purity. Wes stumbled out of the mansion, his body battered and his spirit scarred, but triumphant. The town of Blackbrook slowly began to heal, its inhabitants freed from the grip of the malevolent entity that had plagued them for generations. Wes Bannister, haunted by the horrors he had witnessed, left the town with a newfound understanding of the darkness that lurked just beneath the surface of reality. But even as he walked away, the whispers of Blood Moon Hollow lingered in his mind, a chilling reminder that some secrets are best left buried in the shadows.